now, putting the news back in the morning. This is 10 News at 5.30. Move to tears. Hundreds remember the four USF students killed in a wrong way crash. Difficult and deadly. Nearly two dozen deaths now being blamed on the winter storm moving across the eastern U.S. And an enormous check could change the future of downtown Tampa today. I will tell you about the massive amount of money that is on the line to buy channel side before the end of the day. Good Friday morning to you. Welcome to 10 News at 530. I'm Allison Croft. And I'm Joe Gum. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's get right to that Valentine's Day weather with 10 weather meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Good morning. A little cool right now. Yeah, right? it's a little frosty out there in some locations, guys, especially when you get into Pasco County and points northward. That's where I do think we're going to see a little bit of frost. And if you see some, take a picture and post it on my Facebook page of Bobby Deskins Weather. I'll share it with everybody. Let's take you live outside on this Friday morning, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. It's 47 degrees in Tampa. Most locations are in the low to mid 40s. But again, as you get in, even in the northern Hillsborough County, that's where we're seeing those numbers in the upper 30s. So 47 on average at the bus stop, cold and frosty, a very isolated patch of fog out there. We've got one or two popping up in the Lakeland area. Your morning commute will be dry all the way through and a beautiful full snow moon out there first thing this morning, appropriate for the folks up north. We'll talk about your forecast this afternoon. Look for highs in the 60s. I'll have your weekend forecast in just a few minutes right now. Here's Holly Sim with 10 traffic. How's it looking out there, Holly? It's looking pretty good, actually. So far, we just have a couple of areas of incidents and actually some areas that are clearing, too. Northbound I-275 at Fowler Avenue, we do still have an active crash that is largely off to the side, but one responder on the scene does have the right lane blocked, so it doesn't really look like this is causing too much in the way of delays just yet. That's because it's in the northbound direction. Southbound is when we tend to see things stack up a little bit earlier. E even if it would be in that direction at this time of the morning, <clears throat> we wouldn't see too much of an impact, but I'll keep you posted. That should be clearing fairly shortly. Westbound Fletcher Avenue after 22nd Street North. Construction will continue today due to some water main work that's happening there. You will see the right lane continue to be blocked. That's right around 19th Street. Also, moving over to I-75, there is still, uh, actually this is in the clearing stages now, southbound I-75 just after State Road 52, an earlier car fire that is being taken off the road right now, so that right lane is opening up for you once again. I'll have another update for you coming up in eight minutes. We are keeping a close eye on a developing story this morning that could change the future of downtown Tampa. That's right. 10 News has learned that a deal to buy the distressed Channelside property could be done here in just a few hours. 10 News reporter Grayson Com is live from Channelside this morning. And Grayson, this isn't the first time this group has ever tried to buy the property. Hey, Joe, Liberty Channelside Investors is the same group of developers that tried to buy Channelside last